school is back in session, and yes, summer might be over, but if there is one thing to look forward to this fall, it is all the new TV that's coming our way. And let me tell you that when it comes to new shows alone, there is a ton to look forward to. Mix in the old shows that are returning, and honestly, I don't think I'm ever leaving my house again. So with that being said, Clever is here to break down 10 of the most anticipated shows for fall 2014, so let's get started. Okay, so for the 10th show on our countdown, we have American Horror Story Freak Show. And we're just gonna go ahead and put a little asterisk on this one because yes, we know it's technically not new, but since it's an anthology series, it's basically a whole new show every season. And that is the great thing about this show. Even if you haven't watched any of the other stellar seasons, this is your time to jump in if you like having nightmares. The fourth season of Ryan Murphy's creepy FX show will focus on what else? a freak show in 1950s Jupiter, Florida. We've got Jessica Lang as the woman in charge, Sarah Paulson as Siamese twins, Kathy Bates as the bearded lady with her son played by Evan Peters who seems to have some sort of claw hand situation thing happening. Angela Bassett and Michael Chiklis are a couple. She is a tri-breasted woman, as in yes, she has three breasts and he's the strongest man in the world. Sounds pretty basic and normal, right? Um, wrong, I'm already freaked out. And just in case you wanna go ahead and get ahead of yourself, American Horror Story Freak Show debuts on FX Wednesday, October 8th at 10 p.m. And you might wanna watch this one with the lights on because gets scary, truth. See, we told you that girl has three legs. No big deal. All right, snagging the number nine spot on our list is NBC's romantic comedy, A to Z. The show's pilot has been available online throughout the summer, so if you'd like, you can go ahead and watch it right now. Well, I mean, not right now, but when you're done watching this video, obvi. And you guys totally should. The show chronicles the relationship between a guy named Andrew, who's played by Ben Feldman, and a gal named Zelda, who is played by Kristen Milioti from, well, A to Z. It starts with how they met and then it goes from there. It also does a really great job of making it a truly modern tale. He works for an online dating site and it shows the process of his debate to add her on Facebook and situations along those lines. It might seem a little gimmicky, which it kind of is, but if you watch the final season of How I Met Your Mother, you are gonna already know how amazing Kristen is, which, let's face it, is reason enough to tune in. This is meant to be. No, it's not. Well. Because I wasn't the girl that you saw that night and I don't even own a silver dress. I've never had a guy try that hard for me. Yeah, neither have I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, neither have I. A to Z premieres on NBC Thursday, October 2nd at 9.30 p.m. Coming in at number eight, it's time to get dramatic because we have NBC's state of affairs. The plot centers on a CIA analyst who gives the president daily briefs on what the biggest threats across the world are. Now, there are a couple of reasons why people are truly interested in this show. Number one, it features a female president and a female CIA analyst, so there's tons of girl power going on, which you know we love. And number two, it's Izzy Stevens, I mean, Katherine Heigl's big return to TV after her Grey's Anatomy exit. So yeah, it's a pretty big deal. I mean, I'm hoping that Denny Duquette shows up. I am going to find every last person who had anything to do with the death of your son. And I'm going to end every single one of their lives. That's my girl. If this sounds like something you might be into, State of Affairs premieres on NBC Monday, November 17th at 10 p.m. At the number seven spot is what we think is about to be one of the best new comedies to hit TV in a very long, long time. First off, the show has a standout cast featuring Anthony Anderson, Tracy Ellis Ross, and Lawrence Fishburne. And secondly, I double dog dare you not to laugh after watching this. Lately, I feel in order to make it, we've all dropped a little of our culture. All right, stop, Andy. Stop. Andy? That's not even close to Andre. I think it says I'm edgy but approachable. I think it says I hate my father and I play field hockey. Boo! 
boom. And that, my friends, was just the tip of the iceberg. Blackish debuts on ABC Wednesday, September 24th at 9 p.m. If you're looking for a show to add to your DVR that's guaranteed to make you laugh, cry, and generally just rethink the world week after week, well then, Fox's Red Band Society, AKA the sixth show on our list, is definitely for you. The dramedy takes place in the cancer ward of a children's hospital, and you should probably just go ahead and stock up on the Kleenex now. The show, which debuts on Fox on Wednesday, September 17th at 9 p.m., features an ensemble cast with Oscar-winning Octavia Spencer leading the way, as well as big-time rush star Sierra Bravo and former Brothers and Sisters star Dave Anibal. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For he, today, that sheds his blood with me, should be my brother. Okay, forget just getting Kleenex. You should probably buy freaking stock in Kleenex because the world might drown in the tears caused by this show. But I promise you're gonna love it and it's also gonna be really funny too. If you're looking for something with a little more action and some major DC comic history, then you are going to love The Flash, which lands the number five spot on our countdown. Starring Grant Gustin as the title character, it's the latest DC comic to come to life on The CW after, of course, the wildly popular show Arrow. And you can expect a lot of crossover between these two, so if you're a fan of these comics, you better get excited. What happened here? Just your everyday kind of bad guy shoot up. We told you, get excited! The Flash premieres on The CW Tuesday, October 7th at 8 p.m. Alrighty, moving from action to comedy, we have NBC's Marry Me coming in at number four. If you guys love happy endings and are still mourning over its premature cancellation, wipe those tears away because Casey Wilson has teamed up with the show's creator, who also happens to be her husband, for this upcoming comedy. The show focuses on a couple who returns from a romantic getaway, and the girl is pretty PO'd. Okay, scratch that. Girlfriend is straight up livid that the whole thing didn't end with an engagement. Little did she know her man was going to put a ring on it as soon as they got back, but she kind of blew up before it could ever happen. Did she just say you guys were in Mexico last week? Because you told me you were in the hospital in agony over whether or not to pull the plug on your dad. Not gonna sugarcoat it, that was bad. Marry Me premieres on NBC Tuesday, October 14th at 9 p.m. And fun fact, guys, the show is loosely based on star Casey Wilson's relationship with the show's creator and her now husband, David Caspi. All right, staying on the funny train is number three on our list and the show with the most pop culture relevant title of probably all time, I Give You Selfie. The show stars Doctor Who alum Karen Gillan in the lead role of Eliza, a woman Woman who has become super famous through social media, but shocker, she has zero skills when it comes to in-person contact. In enters John Cho, who plays Henry, to help her rebrand herself. Here is a quick sneak peek. I'm not leaving until you say you'll help me. Come on, I just want to change my image. Do you mean be a better person? Or that. Selfie premieres on Tuesday, September 30th at 8 p.m. on ABC. And also, fun fact for you guys, the show is loosely based on My Fair Lady. Get it? Eliza, Henry? Yeah, well, whatever. The show is gonna be great. Okay, landing the number two spot on our countdown is Fox's drama, Gotham, which is sure to feed anyone out there's caped crusader fix. Starring Benjamin McKenzie and Jada Pinkett Smith, among others, it's an origin story that centers on, did you guess? The city of Gotham and Batman. Benjamin stars as a young detective Gordon who is assigned to the high-profile murder case of billionaires Thomas and Martha Wayne. He meets their son, Bruce, AKA the kid who will one day become Batman and is compelled as ever to solve the case. In addition to Batman's origins, we'll also get to know more about the characters such as Catwoman, the Penguin, Poison Ivy, and more. What's your name? 
My name's Bruce Wayne. You can check out Gotham when it premieres on Fox Monday, September 22nd at 8 p.m. And landing the number one spot on our most anticipated shows of 2014, can I get a drum roll, please? How to get away with murder. If you're obsessed with ABC's hit show Scandal, then this is something you need to watch because it's straight from the queen of TV herself, Miss Shonda Rhimes. Plus, side note guys, it comes on right after Scandal, so it's pretty convenient as well. How to Get Away with Murder premieres on Thursday, September 25th at 10 p.m. and it stars Oscar-nominated actress Viola Davis as a no-nonsense law professor who teaches criminal law. Ironically, she and a number of students become involved with a murder plot, so let the drama, mystery, and intrigue begin. I don't know what terrible things you've done in your life up to this point, but clearly your comments out of balance to get assigned to my class. I'm Professor Annalise Keating, and this is Criminal Law 100, or as I prefer to call it, How to get away with murder. We cannot wait. My DVR is about to blow up. I think I need to get some more capacity or something, but that's a whole other story. But what about you guys? Have we convinced you to tune in to any of these shows? Shout out which ones you're looking forward to in the comment section below, or you can tweet me at Jocelyn Davis. And then of course, you gotta click right on over here to get our breakdown of the best TV couples of all time. And hit that subscribe button too, so you can always get the latest and greatest TV scoop. I'm your girl Jocelyn Davis, thanks so much for hanging out, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.